So today the main disciples for this teaching are the Chinese uh, from Singapore and others and also from Hong Kong. So there are a few people from Hong Kong and then from Malaysia also. So these are the main uh, students for this discourse. Amongst them there are many who are Buddhists and there are also quite a few number of Christians and uh, there are also some who do not have any uh, particular belief in any faith. So we are gathered here, all the Dharma brothers and sisters. So uh, Singaporeans mostly speak English, so they do understand English. But then it seems there are some from uh, South America. Although my English is not that good and uh, I have not been able to improve much. <laughs> and even if I may uh, improve my English, it may not be that much help for uh, enlightenment as such. So I will speak in English now. So, dear uh, spiritual brothers and sisters, uh, once again, uh, we gathered here, mainly from Singapore and Malaysia and some Hong Kong, and perhaps some Taiwanese also. I think even some from mainland China, and then some other Buddhist countries, and also some uh, non-Buddhist countries, uh, I think such as Chile or South, uh, South American, I think some people here. So firstly, I would like to express my greetings. It seems now, uh, rather also now, a greeting to you. <laughs> Till yesterday, a lot of rains. Now today seems... <laughs> uh, so... Uh, Now the purpose of this sort of gathering uh, is see, to achieve happy life, successful life. That's, I believe, that's the main purpose or main goal. The way, the proper way to achieve happy life, successful life, uh, not only money, power, material facility, but ultimately much depend on our mental state. Obviously, material facilities provide us this is some kind of comfort or some kind of I say the satisfaction, mainly sensorial level. Some beautiful things uh, give us some kind of satisfaction through uh, I the, uh, through I the, seeing the eyes or the, I the consciousness. Then uh, through music we get some kind of satisfaction or some kind of a short moment, some kind of peace, tranquility uh, from those sort of say, peaceful musics or something good, good musics uh, that also completely rely on sensorial consciousness. Then food, taste, again physical consciousness. Smell, also like that. And touch, also is like that. So some kind of satisfaction. 
some sort of happy feeling. Uh, from this sensorial way, it's very temporary. So long, beautiful music there, you feel happy. Then that music stops, no longer much. Uh, and then another sort of viewpoint or another sort of aspect we must think. The, any sort of pleasant experience which come through sensorial level, no matter how sort of strong, uh, but the case person who mentally very unhappy, too much worry, too much anxiety, that kind of sort of anxiety or suffering or painful experience in mental level cannot subdue by sensory levels sort of pleasure. Clear? Uh, the other hand, the mental level, calm. The full of strength, self-courage, self-confidence, and courage sort of mental thinking. Then, sensory level, physical pain, okay, not serious. Even some cases, they, in order to get satisfaction on mental level, sometimes we deliberately carry physical pain. So, through our own experience, it is quite clear. We want a happy life, but within the happy experience or satisfaction, two levels, sensory level, mental level. Between these two, mental level are more powerful, more important. So, uh, I think another sort of reason, mental level, although the, uh, so the sensorial level experience and the mental level experience is common with human beings and other sort of mammals, dogs, cats, and some other sort of uh, animals and also the birds, even insect. I think same. Uh, those sentient beings who have this physical, the physical level of experience and the mental level of experience, all have so two levels. That's clear. Now differences. We human being, we have this the potential of sort of knowing or thinking, imagination or vision. And also I think we have much sort of greater sort of ability to remember past sort of experience or past sort of histories like that. And then, so therefore, uh, we, because more sort of intelligence here, see, more expectation, more sort of visions, ambitions, all these things because of this intelligence. So this uh, brings more distrust, uh, jealousy, uh, anger, suspicion. And this brings uh, unnecessary fear. And that brings uh, I'll say the frustration, anger, like that. Clear. Even physically, uh, very well. All the facilities are very good. I think you Singaporean, uh, I think those, and the Hong Kong, those people also is quite materially very highly developed. So you, uh, you in, I mean, the, those, those people who have materially every facility there, and also I think uh, almost every day some friend come and some nice meal and a smile. Uh, but that, if the person says some worry here about money, <laughs> about power, 
<laughs> like the, about the fame. More sort of worry, concern here in mental level than uh, your friends not easily she removed that pain here. And the money, of course, no ability. And fames also sometimes create more sort of anxiety, more sort of worry. Uh, so, mere education, very smart brain, good education, also sometimes creates some more desire, more ambition. That brings more doubt, more fear.